I don't really think about anything too much. I live in the present. I move on. I don't think about what happened yesterday. Life is like sex. It's not always good, but it's always worth trying. Natural beauty takes at least two hours in front of a mirror. It's great to be a blonde. With low expectations it's very easy to surprise people. My hair was so much a part of my personality in all my photo shoots. I hid behind my hair. And then, I just decided I was okay with myself. To have short hair and really show my face is even more revealing than anything. It's a statement, not to everyone else, more to myself. I'm just ready to get out from behind my hair and be myself. The sexiest thing about men is how they are with kids, if they are great with kids they are real men, selfless, powerful, comforting, too bad so many men suck. I'd rather be looked over than overlooked. Eventually you just have to realize that you're living for an audience of one. I'm not here for anyone else's approval. Being halfway through my life, I think we start feeling less invincible and we start thinking more about the important things. I'm kind of proud of myself. I've been able to keep a certain grace about me, even in the times of disgrace and craziness. I am what I am and I'm a horrible liar. I can't do it. I'm just very candid. My little circle of friends know how twisted my brain is. I'm constantly reading and people always think, ah, we didn't know that about you, but that's part of my charm. My ideal relaxation is working on upholstery. I spend hours in junk shops buying furniture. I do all the upholstery work myself, and it's like therapy. There's no way I set out to be a certain kind of symbol, the way I dress is the way I am, the way I live my life. People always tell me, reinvent yourself, Re this, re whatever. I haven't reinvented myself. It's an honest evolution. I've always been authentic. Opportunity only gives you knockers once. I feel sexier, I think, with short hair. I feel like an alien. There's never going to be a great misunderstanding of me. I think I'm a little whack. People say I'm the ultimate California girl, which is funny, being that I'm Canadian. Making love in the morning got me through morning sickness. I found I could be happy and throw up at the same time. There is more to me than my boobs and my boyfriends. I'm a mother with two small children, so I don't take as much crap as I used to. I look back on the last 10 years and I have to say I'm proud of what I have accomplished, because I've been able to raise two beautiful children. I have my hands full with my kids and so romance is not high on my list of priorities. The true meaning of feminism is this, to use your strong womanly image to gain strong results in society. I don't think I am an actress. I think I've created a brand and a business. I like to work and it kind of keeps me in line, which is very good because I need that structure. Anderson was born July 1, 1967 in Ladysmith, British Columbia, Canada the daughter of Barry Anderson, a furnace repairman, and Carol, a waitress. Her great-grandfather, Yuho Hershiyanen, 
was a Finnish native of Sariarvi, and left the Grand Duchy of Finland, which was a part of the Russian Empire at the time, for Canada in 1908. She changed his name to Anderson when she arrived as an immigrant. Anderson also has Volga German ancestry on her mother's side. Her grandmother, ethnically German, was born in Russia in a Mennonite village and immigrated to Canada in 1901. Anderson received press coverage right after her birth as a centennial baby. Having been born on July 1, 1967, the 100th anniversary of Canada's official founding via the Constitution Act, 1867. She has a younger brother, Jerry, born 1971, an actor and producer who worked in some of her movies and TV shows VIP, Stripperella, Stacked and Blonde and Blonder. Pamela Denise Anderson is a Canadian-American actress, model, and media personality. She is best known for her glamour modeling work in Playboy magazine and for her role as C.J. Parker on the television series Baywatch 1992-1997. Anderson came to public prominence after being selected as the February 1990 Playmate of the Month for Playboy magazine. She went on to make regular appearances on the magazine's cover, holding the record for the most Playboy covers by any person. Anderson became known to a wider audience in 1991 when she appeared on the ABC sitcom Home Improvement, playing the role of Lisa for its first two seasons. She gained international recognition for her starring role as C.J. Parker on the action drama series Baywatch 1992-1997, further cementing her status as a sex symbol. She played Valerie Irons on the syndicated series VIP 1998-2002 and starred as Skylar Dayton on the Fox sitcom Stacked 2005-2006. Anderson's film credits include Raw Justice 1994, Barb Wire 1996, Scary Movie 3 2003, Superhero Movie, Blonde and Blonder both 2008, The Institute, Baywatch both 2017, and City Hunter 2018. She appeared in her own documentary series in 2008 which she also co-directed, and has taken part in numerous reality television shows from around the world, such as Dancing with the Stars 2010, 2012 by Londo 2011 VIP Brother 2012 Dancing on Ice 2013 and Dance Avec Les Stars 2018. Anderson has publicly supported various charitable causes, particularly animal rights, and has endorsed PETA activities. She has also released three autobiographies and four novels. Anderson was the recipient of a star on the Canadian Walk of Fame in 2006.